we really got everybody hates chris back i was talking about this show with friends when i was in school back in the day and i still watch it to this day the series picks back up where it left off with chris's ged results being revealed back then it did hurt that the show was going off the air and we didn't even know what the outcome was we find out as of right now he failed the test and rochelle and julius they didn't hold back but i like how they transitioned from the live action to the animated show when rochelle had slapped chris you failed what boy i'ma slap you in the animation Ow. it was clean not the slap but the transition because that slap sounded like it hurt but i wonder though if that was a reference from what happened to chris a while back but y'all let me know in the comments julius like always thinking about how much money he spent he tried to return chris's food talking about he only ate four cent worth of french fry this really is like the original show but let's be real he couldn't at least finish the french fry he already partially ate it and everybody else got to keep their food i'm glad Tashina arnold and terry cruz returned along with a few others that were in the original show this time around chris is being played by somebody else his name is tim johnson jr and tanya and drew are being played by new actors as well which i don't mind of course we all appreciate the original cast and what they did and watching this at first i thought it was going to be a little off not hearing the original actors voices however it wasn't that bad it felt like i was watching the live action show again with the jokes and how the characters were acting like for example this dude jerome still taking stuff he took a bottle and a toy bunny from a baby he gave her a pacifier and she in the background looking mad she probably thinking if only she could get up and walk she snatched that bottle and that toy back and what the mama doing in the background looked like she was talking to somebody she gonna wonder where that bottle and that bunny went now she gonna have to buy some new ones don't let that have been one of julius kids he would have looked up and noticed or he would have been talking about all day how much a brand new bottle and toy cost i did want to add this in here tyler james williams who played the original chris is a producer on the show so it's nice that he's still a part of the show chris at this point has no other option but to go back to school but he's not alone though drew's gonna be going to the same school as him since he's starting high school now i was kind of hyped because they both gonna be in the same school and of course drew seemed like he was doing good and having a far better experience than chris he was getting along with everyone so well that when chris was talking to greg they labeled chris drew's brother they acting like he wasn't there before him y'all know it's not gonna be a everybody hates chris show without principal morello and she hasn't changed at all with some of her naively racist comments and a special shout out to my home buddy chris who did not get his ged but it's not his fault the test wasn't in ebonics i was kind of surprised they didn't tone the character down because we are in different times and some people may not have seen the show but nope she's still the same as ever you know what that means this show really is back and i'm glad they kept the character the same and doing it how they did before it doesn't stop there he's still a black kid in a mostly white school and one of the students thought he was in a game which we know how chris is gonna act he decided to run with it and people weren't trying to pick on him but it did catch up to him he eventually got expelled but we'll get back to chris in a minute rochelle had her moment in the episode she got a job because she wanted a new bed and didn't want julius to get a third job if you watched this show before you know what happens when it comes to rochelle and having a job she ends up quitting and saying her man got two jobs it was funny though her and julius ended up working at the same job so he got that third job anyway and he also saw it firsthand how she acts when she's at work which ended with her like any other job quitting and now being able to say her man got three jobs but towards the end of the episode everything got fixed between the two because she did apologize to julius and gave him his props for what he does for the family I like that moment, even though at first Rochelle tried to act like she wasn't sleeping on the job. He really does do a good job for his family. He got three jobs now. He may be cheap, but he does the best he can. And it's cool that she understands that he works hard at whatever he's doing. Back to Chris, Tanya let everyone know that Chris got expelled and his parents were upset at first until he let them know what he had been dealing with. And he told them the reason why he dropped out of school his parents did show that they cared and paid attention to what he said it was sad in that moment seeing him call himself stupid and he really isn't julius did get on the phone to call the people to have them double check chris's ged results there was an error he actually did pass but he used the number three pencil instead of a number two julius bought those pencils being cheap 
just because he passed it still doesn't change that he used the number three pencil that might have failed but they came up with another plan julius rochelle and chris went back up to the school they managed to change things around and chris is now in the 11th grade this doesn't need to be added in here but i wanted to add it anyway julius paid full price for some number two pencils shout out to him man he's spending that money this moment that happened at the end of the episode was the most chris moment the windbreaker that he was wearing throughout the episode he bought from mr omar mr omar owns a funeral home and it belonged to one of his clients the episode just couldn't end nice for him three people got on the bus and they recognized that he was wearing the windbreaker that belonged to one of their friends that had passed away and they decided to deliver the beats like what if he would have got that at a thrift store he couldn't just catch a break even at the end of the episode overall this was a good episode the characters still act the same like in the live action the jokes are funny it was cool to see the transition from live action to animated and they did a good job with the writing continuing out the live action show i think it's worth checking out and i can't wait to see what the rest of the episodes are like as well but i'm interested to hear y'all thoughts comment below what do you all think about the animated version of everybody hates chris